So you know, Judy, this is a great time of year to check all of your potted containerized plants, whether it's tr shrubs or trees or perennials. And we've been looking at this one. It's been in this pot mm. for about three years, and it really is time to up-pot it. It is. And so to get ready, we went to a garden center, and because we don't have a potting fence and we don't have a blue tarp, we picked up some weed barrier. We have about a six-foot length, and we're going to use that for our potting bench, and it's going to make it an easy cleanup in the end. And then we also got some all-purpose black gold to use we love because black gold. it's a great product. <laughs> so after you get all of this about half full, which Judy already did, you take the plant out of the pot and you try to center it and make sure the stem, this one has a bit of a curve at the bottom, but we're going to try to get the whole stem as straight as we can in its new pot. And then what are you going to be doing, Judy? I'm going to just kind of ease, uh, tease these roots out on the side so that it helps it get out into this new medium. Mm -hmm. And then just fill in the sides with more black gold and just kind of pat it down. You can hold that steady there. You sure can. Now it's always important when you're repotting or up-potting a plant that you give it a really thorough watering. Now what we're going to be doing today when we water is using this little product here called Root Stimulator by Fertilome. The reason we're using it is it's got a lot of B vitamin complexes in it. And that's what the feeder roots start using when they begin growing. And that should probably start happening, I would think, any day now, huh, Judy? It will. You know, I'm almost done. I'm just going to pat this down. I think we should move it first before we water it. It'll yeah, it would make it lighter. less heavy. <laughs> and before we put it on the deck, we're going to put it on some plant feet just so it helps with the drainage. It doesn't get like a vacuum seal to the deck. And it won't damage the deck either. No, right. I think this plant's going to be happy this year. I do too.